a look at creating a multi-line invoice. So once again we just click on the menu, uh, we select the contact, so once again we'll select Peter Hill, uh, we can see all of the estimates and receipts invoices, we can see the invoice that we generated earlier. So to generate another invoice we just click on here, we click on add, and this invoice is for uh, fence fence maintenance and we'll provide the customer with a detailed breakdown of the work that we did so we'll add in the first line item uh, so we uh, removed the old fence and you could input the number of hours plus the charge rate or you could just input uh, we're going to charge 200 to remove the old fence um, and then we'll add in a new line which is uh, uh, build the new fence and uh, that cost 200 and finally we'll add in some materials um, so we'll select uh, materials and this was a uh, uh, fencing materials and we will charge uh, say 100 for that okay so we now have three line items and if we just click on the back button we can see on our invoice that has totaled everything up we can edit those line items again just by clicking in here um, if you want to preview the invoice we just click on the preview button and if you're happy with the invoice you just click on the finalize invoice button. Once it's finalized uh, the invoice and assigned the invoice number um, it's also created an electronic copy of the invoice in here so we can just click on that and you can just click on this PDF and print it out uh, if you wish. Uh, you don't have to do that because um, if you click back here uh, you can just click on the email invoice button and that will send it uh, straight to the customer and your accountant will always have access to this document electronically. Um, so all of this designed to save time, do away with paperwork, uh, make your life easier and even a complex multi-line invoice you'd be able to create that in once again in less than a minute. So I um, look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.